1949, the Estonian art critic Alexis Ranit delivered a controversial lecture in Paris in which he argued that the Lithuanian artist and composer M. K. Chelonis was the very first abstract painter. Chelonis remains a surprisingly unrecognised figure outside of his homeland. So, who was Chelonis? What was his journey to abstraction? And how valid was Ranit's claim? Chelonis was born in 1875. His was an era defined by the development of nations, new philosophies and scientific discoveries that unlocked profoundly new ways of understanding life. From childhood, Chelonis was recognised as a talented musician. He studied music composition in Warsaw and Leipzig and later fine art where he enthusiastically devoured the artistic developments and ideas of his day. He was exposed to many prevailing trends in literature, art and music, in particular that of symbolism, which he absorbed as his style developed. The symbolists conjured a world of imagination, dreams, nightmares and the subconscious as they reacted to fears of industrial progress and new ideas, like Darwin's theory of evolution. They aimed to find a truth within themselves and to understand the very mystery of being. In this painting, Serenity, Chilonis takes us beyond the simple depiction of a landscape to a dreamlike landmass that seems to lurk with sinister intent. As Chilonis experimented further, he began to reduce elements in his landscapes to the point of abstraction. We begin to see this in his trio of works, Sparks, which represent the stars, which in Lithuanian mythology were thought of as temporary resting places of souls. The move towards abstraction is perhaps most clear in Chilonis's 1907 winter cycle, with forms that resemble snow-covered trees, stars and candles. But by the time we get to number six in the series, he has reduced his colour palette and deconstructed the shapes to become less distinct. The Russian artist Kandinsky is often regarded as the pioneer of abstraction. In Ranit's 1949 lecture, he reminded his audience that Kandinsky had only painted his first abstract work in 1911. But by the time of his early death in 1911, Chelonis had already given the world a body of work that can be classified as abstract or semi-abstract painting. Ranit went on to suggest that Kandinsky would have seen this work at the commemorative exhibition in Moscow shortly after Chelonis' death. This argument was strongly refuted by Kandinsky's widow, who said her husband had drawn inspiration from French Impressionism. The debate is further complicated by the introduction of the Swedish artist Hilma af Klint, whose The Paintings for the Temple, a series which she started in 1906, is now widely seen as the first work of abstraction. Nevertheless, we know that Chelonis inspired a number of major modernist artists who followed him, from Malevich, the painter of the famous Black Square in 1915, to composers like Stravinsky. Perhaps it doesn't really matter who first created abstract art, but it's certainly worth noting that Chelonis' fascination with uniting painting and music led him towards this simplicity of form. His approach to abstraction is beautifully illustrated in silence, where he daringly creates a near empty picture with just three delicate dandelions in the bottom left hand corner, conveying a desolate sense of fragility in the face of the wind. What do you think? Was Chelonis the first abstract painter? Come to Dulwich Picture Gallery to make your own mind up and to discover this Lithuanian master for yourself.